taong 2008, isang taon matapos na mapanalunan ang mga titulong IVF at IBO flyweight title sa nadidepensang Armenian fighter na si Victor Chinyan, sinagupa ni Nonito Donaire ang palabang orthodox fighter na si Moroti Mitalani. Ang boksingerong ikinukonsidera ng kanyang mga kababayan bilang greatest South African flyweight fighter of all time. Si Metalani ay limang beses na itinanghal na South African flyweight champion. Nasa panahong ito ay may impresibong 23 panalo, kabilang na ang 15 panalo mula sa knockout at isang talo. Sa kabilang banda, hawak naman ng tinaguri ang The Filipino Flash ang 17 na panalo. Tampok ang 12 panalo mula sa knockout at may kaparehong isang talo. Ayon kay Metalani, ito ang labang magpapakilala sa kanya ng tuluyan sa mundo ng boxing. At ang laban sa litimong kampiyon tulad ni Nonito Donaire ang pinakamalaking pagkakataong hinding-hindi niya palalampasin. Balikan natin ang naging laban ni Nonito Donaire. Sa South African fighter na kalaunan ay nagbigay ng mga talo sa mga bigating buksingero tulad din na Jan Riel Casimero at Sulani Tete. At alamin kung paano napaiyak ni Nonito Donaire sa laban ang isa sa pinakamahusin na buksingero na flyweight division ng South Africa. Ang laban ay naganap sa Mandalay Bay Hotel and Casino sa Mandalay Event Center sa Las Vegas, Nevada. Para sa IBF at IBO World Flyweight Title, nahawak ng nagdidepens ang Pinoy na si Nonito Donaire. I want a good clean fight. Remember guys, I'm fair but I'm firm. Touch them both. IBF Flyweight Championship on the line. And that's the man with the belt. That's the guy who wants it. Nonito had hoped to be much more active after he won the title from Victor Chin and he hasn't fought in quite a while. Now he said his blood was boiling for this fight. Let's we'll see if it's red hot. Ooh, that's bad news for Empalani. Unang round pa lang nagpakitang gilas na ang Pinoy na si Nonito Donaire. Pagamat ligas na mas malaking buksingero ang Pinoy kumpara kay Mitalani, hindi naman nagpakabog ang South African fighter. Pilit itong naghahadap ng pagkakataon para puntusan ang mas mahabang si Donaire. Punches. As you can see, he's quite big for this division. He is. And it seems like he'll be much more at home at 115 or 118. Donaire just reading nice counter punch as Empelani got flipped with a left hand. That was a beautiful, beautiful shot. And looking to open up the champion. You know, unlike Victor Chinian, who had no respect really for Nonito Donaire, and still doesn't actually. Well, I, don't think he knew, I don't think he knew what hit him. I don't think he, I he still anybody. doesn't know. Yeah, he yeah. doesn't give no respect to nobody though. Yeah, they call him a complete fighter as well. Making the play here, getting off first. He hadn't been there to be, be hit, and a little step back. Very clever counter-punching from Donaire in a cautious first round. Very good, good fight. Nonito Donaire, back in action. Sa ipinakitang suntukan ng dalawang buksingero sa unang round, tila hindi uubra ang South African fighter kung patuloy itong lalaban ng may distansya. Kaya naman sa pagsisimula ng round 2, mas agresibo ng pinapasok ni Mitalani ang depensa ni Nonito Donaire. Napatuloy naman nagpapakula ng mga counter-attack, oras na bumibitaw ng upensa ang South African fighter. Right, and whistles pass, but Donaire punches with him. He gets around that ring real nice too, real athletic. Oh, he's so forward. He's really exactly. You can tell emotional moment for him. Oh. And he's honored by the Philippines. He's not leaving the year. Big stop. And that, the South African got hit on the way in and on the way out. Yeah. He's walking in without punching, guys. Donaire is doing very well in looking for the body shots. There it is again, as you speak. Good job, I think. He changed all of that, getting the stoppage tonight. And right he lifts all three titles. And right here, Donaire is trying to maintain his title. Maybe three of the four, I should say, right? Yeah, there's, a, there's a lot going on at 112 and 115, oh, guys, boy. right now. <laughs> We've always thought so, haven't we, Rich? <laughs> That's where the action is. About the line to a little more, more punches, be a little more quick with his shot. Good point. He gets wrapped. Kidneys. Now Donaire trying to open him up with right hands. Donaire, the champion, just whipping power shots in. Here's Nonito Donaire Sr. to his son, saying if he can step back, as we talked about in counter. Nonito Donaire is living proof that not every Philippine fighter is trained by Freddie Rhodes. 
sa round 3, tila ba unting-unting nakukuha na ni Mitalani ang tamang distansya nito sa laban. Makakailang ulit itong nakapagpatama ng mga sulidong opensa sa ating pambato. At dahil sa nakakadikit na ang South African fighter sa depensa ni Nonito Donaire, sa round 4 tuluyan ang nakuha ni Mitalani ang tamang diskarte nito sa laban. Dito nalalabas ang pagiging kumpletong buksingero ni Nonito Donaire. Mula sa pagiging orthodox, tumipat ito ng tindig sa South Po para lamang mapigilan ang mga sulidong atake ng South African fighter. Round 5 nagtuloy-tuloy lang si Metalani sa kanyang atake sa Pinoy Fighter. Patuloy din sa kanyang counter-attack si Nonito Donaire. Pagamat sa mga oras na ito ay wala pa sa mga buksingero ang kumukontrol ng bakpakan, mas angat naman ang mga sulidong patama ni Donaire kumpara sa South African fighter na si Metalani. Let his hands go, but he's been very economical, the champion, not wasting anything. And his punch output, as Rich alluded to, is on the low side. Nonito's kind of abandoned his jab. He's got to get back to work with that. Yeah, I was thinking he'd start the boxing. Not a great round for the champion here. Closing the fifth. The bat of the very sa pagpapatuloy ng laban sa round 6, tuluyan ang binago ni Donaire ang nakasanayang tindig nito sa laban. At dahil sa mas epektibong estilo ito para sa papalusob na atake ni Mitalani, makailang ulit itong nakapagpatama ng mga sulidong suntok sa mukha ng South African fighter. Dito na mapapansin ni Donaire ang pagtagas ng dugo sa kaliwang mata ni Mitalani. Kaya naman na matigil ang laban para ipasuri ng referee sa ring position ang pinsalang tinamo ng South African fighter dulot ng sunod-sunod na patama ni Donaire. Kumbinsidong delikado na ito at dapat nang itigil ang laban. Dito na emosyonal na mapapaluwa ang South African fighter na si Muroti Mitalani. Dahil sa di inaasahang pagpapatigil ng kanilang bakbakan. I mean it wasn't, I didn't see him do anything terrible. I, 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 and maybe this guy is a guy who can fight for 20 rounds. Kapitalani, I have a feeling he is. There's some emotion in the corner of Kapitalani. Oh, This was his big opportunity. Ang panalong ito ni Donaire ang nagbigay sa kanya ng kanyang ikalawang matagumpay na pagdepensa ng kanyang IBF at IBO World Flyweight title. Ito rin ang isa sa mga labang sumubok sa kakayahan ni Nonito Donaire. Matapos magkaroon ng pinsala sa kanyang mga kamao sa gitna ng laban. Sa kabilang banda, biguman sa kanyang unang pagtatangka sa kampiyonato, hindi naman nawalan ng pag-asa ang South African fighter na si Moroti Mitalani. Taong 2009 na mapanalunan nito ang pakanting IBF World Flyweight title, kung saan makailang ulit itong natepensaan ng kanyang titulo sa mga bigating buksingero tulad ni Nasolani Tete at Jan Riel Casimero. Ladies and gentlemen, we're consulting with the ringside physician, referee Joe Cortez stops the bout due to a severe laceration over the left eye of the blue corner. Damas caballeros, después de consultar con el médico de turno, el referee Joe Cortez para la contienda por causa de una lesión sobre el ojo izquierdo de la esquina azul. El tiempo oficial, un minuto, 31 segundos del sexto asalto. The official time, one minute, 31 seconds of round number six, your winner. By way of technical knockout and still the IBF flyweight champion of the world, Nonito, the Filipino 
Flash Door.